Okay, set up in the new storage area. Um, this is an outdoor storage area, so we're right now we're running at about 85 degrees. To start this one, this is not concrete, even though it's exterior, this is the only concrete wall. Uh, and unfortunately, I had to run the two solar panels through that concrete this morning, that was no fun. But as this is just drywall on uh, normal framing, I've covered it with concrete backer board, which is fireproof. Uh, just as a starting point for a little bit more security. And right now we can see it's 85. What we have is this panel is coming in and it feeds along here to this solar controller. This is a cheap, uh, rich solar, solar controller that came with the panel. And that is feeding the two AGM batteries, the two new Macs. So that's our AGM setup. It is this solar controller to these two bus bars. And it is being fed through the wall, which we just set up this morning. This is no longer connected. We have him sitting here right now. We're not gonna use that Orion. Uh, in the old setup, I didn't have this controller because I didn't have any holes for the wall for the second panel. Um, I could only feed one controller and I was using that to charge the other batteries once the lithium was full. So the lithium, is right here. He now is feeding up to this massive uh, shunt and this positive bus bar, which is fed by this solar controller coming in from, and that's wire number two at the top. So this wire, these two wires come in, go along the concrete, concrete wall here, concrete backer board there, concrete underneath, and they feed up into this solar controller which feeds these two bus bars, which charge the battery. And this is gonna be the guy then, who also powers this inverter. So that inverter is what we're gonna use for the air conditioner. All these little, we have to make more holes now, unfortunately, to get the power from this out. It's actually, this comes, this comes through here and feeds down to this box which is where you, you plug in for your output. It's just easier to get to than the outlets on the side. That's our setup. Uh, and this, off this breaker, this is a little 12 volt power system. We're gonna put a USB outlet in here now with also a cigarette lighter, the dual function, and that will run this 12 volt fridge, which we're gonna keep in here as well. I'm probably gonna move it over here closer to them. Um, and right now we can see that from the 100 watt, yeah, the, the 12 volt system, which is what we're calling starter battery, that's fed by the 100 volt solar panel, or 100 watt, sorry. And the big lithium is fed by the 240 watt. And so we can see right now lithium was up to about 13.4 and solar was at 12.6. So they're charging nicely. It's kind of cloudy out here at the moment, so there's no sun, but the panels, are just set here, waiting for sunlight to hit them. And that feeds up into this, these two holes, and that's how that hits that board. Those are your main components, that's how it's all being used. With the advent of the inverter of the lithium, I put in this kill switch, just to be sure it's a marine on off. And this is a servo GX, which lets me monitor everything going on in this room. As you saw from here, that's not Bluetooth, that's on the internet. This guy communicates with the internet and gives me data from the solar controller, the, the shunt, and shows me even the starter battery now, which is being charged by this guy. Um, and so it's a very nice setup. I don't have to be coming out to this room to know what's going on. And that's our, these, these guys here that look kind of unsightly are just communication cables, or power cables for the communication device, not critical. But I'm happy with this install, really happy. And, um, it's a very nice setup. Love the concrete, didn't have that before. And just adds a, a nice little feel of security to the whole setup here.